Hello and welcome everyone. My name is David with Zentech Consultants and today we're going to be reviewing one of our newest Bluebeam tool chests for sale, which is concrete. So within the tool chest, we have seven different toolboxes here. We have demo and trenching, forms and grading, foundation walls, piers and footings, concrete interiors, concrete site work, reinforcement and site layout. Now within the demo and trenching tools, we have tools for saw cutting and demolitions of areas. So if you need to just do a saw cut of this street right here, for example, you'll see that you have, you know, nearly 48 feet of saw cutting that your company may need to do. And same thing with our area here. Let me get a concrete area in here. It gives us a nice, you know, visual representation along with um, notes already within our drawings and areas that we need for uh, both markup purposes and for estimating purposes. We also have just demo concrete curb within this. So if I just do a couple of these. And we also have both trenching linear feet and trenching area, uh, depending on, you know, what your use case is. You could certainly use both of these. So if we need to do a little bit of trenching for a foundation, you know, maybe right over here, we'll do an area. Gives us our area um, to then give us, you know, our trenching area. And from there, you could do some more multiplication, you know, to do, you know, how much volume of earth may need to be removed for spoils reasons. Uh, one thing to note is within all of our tools are layers. So if we go to our layers tab, um, some of these layers are already on our drawing with a civil drawing per se. And but the tools have their own layers as well that we could simply toggle on and off. So if we just turn on or turn off, I should say demo, we could simply hide everything demo related. And again, if we need to turn off this trench as well, we could just turn off the trenching layer. Let me go back to the tool set here. Now let's move on to our next set of tools, which is forms and grading. So, we allow both wood and metal forms uh, within our tool set. So one thing special about the metal forms though, is we provide both a linear footage for metal forms along with area for metal forms. Um, if you're doing, you know, maybe an elevation type drawing, uh, obviously I am on a, you know, kind of civil plan. so. This metaphor may not be very useful for me. Let me delete these now. And along with um, our forms, we also have vertical posts as well that you could place on both um, wood and metal forms should you need to. And that'll give us a count of how many vertical posts we might need. Lastly, we have hand grading within this. Again, both linear footage and area. So if you need to do any hand grading, something that you know your machinery may not be able to get into or you know get the final level, you'll be able to get a nice square footage of everything that you'll need. Now, our next kind of set of tools is for foundation walls, piers, and footings. Uh, most of these are either linear footage for all of our foundations. And then we also have area tools um, and volume tools for our piers and footings. One thing very unique about our CMU foundation tool though is it'll actually give you the block quantity uh, that you'll need. So say you just have a CMU wall around this. Uh, we have the depth of our foundation wall right here to be three and a half feet. And what we can do is put a waste percentage in there. So, you know, say 10%, uh, 0.10. 
and then we type in our CMU height again. It'll give us a block quantity we need to order for this uh, foundation wall that we have, the CMU foundation wall. And if we need to, you know, change our waste percentage, we could simply do that and it changes everything live. We also have both strip footing and foundation wall linear footages. So we'll just do a couple more of these to show you what it's like. And again, you could change these at any time. So a three foot six strip footing maybe. We'll have to change our depth on this one as well. This is set for eight feet right now, which it is not. It should be set for three foot six. And same as well, we also have um, foundation wall. We also have rigid insulation. So if you need to get any rigid insulation along, you know, any type of footing that you are, you know, doing. So if you want to put it around the CMU foundation, for example. We could do that. And, you know, you can put a two inch rigid insulation in there, uh, whatever, you know, your plans and specs call for. Up next, we have two very similar tools, uh, the concrete pier and concrete footings. And kind of by default, they have a question mark in there, depending on, you know, um, your drawing. You know, this may be labeled pier one. And we could put the depth in this as well. So maybe this is a five foot pier. And it will give us our you know, total cubic yards needed. Same thing with our concrete pier. If it's a circular pier, again, if we just put another, you know, maybe this one may be four foot deep, it'll give us our volume. Now, and our waste percentage column works with all of these tools. So if we put in a... um. 0 0.05 waste percentage. You'll notice here that the concrete volume with waste will be updated accordingly. However, within the actual markup, it will not. So be aware of that. Um, the reason why we do it within the markups list is because you can actually link uh, certain columns and markups to an Excel document. You know, that could be your master bid spreadsheet or takeoff template, whatever it may be. And within both of these, we could enter concrete PSI, um, whatever that may be. Maybe you need a 5,000 PSI for these you know, concrete piers. Now the footings um, is basically the same thing at the end of the day. Uh, however, just labeled uh, a little bit differently. But again, we could simply put five feet in here as well and it'll calculate everything. Maybe our footing needs to be at 4,500 PSI. Now we start to get into some of the more uh, slab on grade tools um, for the concrete interiors. We have vapor barrier in both linear footage and square feet. So if you need to place either a vapor barrier, maybe on a foundation wall, that you could use the um, linear footage for that. However, if you need to place a vapor barrier underneath a slab on grade, that's what the area tool is for. And again, any tool that has the question mark in it denotes that, you know, you could change that, you know, depending on the specification. So again, this product maybe a you know five mil vapor barrier we may need to install we also have slab on grade and slab on deck along with the accompanying wire mesh as well so if you just need to do a simple slab on grade we could get the cubic yards of that as well now with any concrete tool also you may need to worry about admixtures and we got you covered for that. Um, we have a drop-down list along with you could type in your own if needed. Uh, 
of the most common types of admixtures. So we'll even do a slab on deck with wire mesh as well. So we'll just do that one just over here. And again, we could type in a waste percentage. So maybe 5% uh, for both of these. Up next, we have all of the concrete site work tools. And with this one, we have similar to what we just had, slab on grade and slab on grade with wire mesh. Uh, one thing to note, though, is um, all of our tools come with layers. So just because these are, you know, very have the same subject and the same label, uh, we can turn different things on and off with layers. And I'll show you what some of these layers look like here in a second. So, you know, we have our simply stamped concrete. We'll do a heavy duty concrete as well. So maybe it's a driveway coming from the street for some type of tractor trailer. Maybe this heavy duty needs to be at 5,000 PSI. Along with a, you know, 10% waste percentage. Now within our layers tab over here, you can see some of the tools I've already placed down. And again, we could simply turn off our site work and it'll hide anything site work related. Same thing with anything, you know, concrete related. And foundation related. We have sidewalks in here. So if we need to do any concrete area for sidewalks. 3,000 PSI is kind of what the default is. However, again, you could change this at any time. Along with both linear footages for concrete curb and concrete curb and gutter, depending on what, you, again, what your use case may be. And for a lot of you guys, you know, who deal with um, a lot of right-of-ways and sidewalks, we do have the uh, count tool for both truncated domes. So, you know, if you're at a certain intersection, maybe right here, you need one at these kind of areas. It'll give us a count. Along with a count for concrete bollards. So, you know, if we need to add some bollards, maybe along over here for some example. Some of the other concrete tools we have are for reinfor uh, reinforcement, which cover both linear footage and counts of rebar um, and the most common lengths, uh, not length sizes. So, you know, number one rebar, seven eighths, um, number seven, so forth and so forth. Along with a wire mesh square footage, if you just need to get a simple wire mesh square footage as well. The last set of tools is very useful for a site layout. So we have all of our, you know, the most common pump trucks along with their radiuses. So if we place this one, you know, maybe we need to place this right here in this intersection. And you can see the radius that this pump truck that I just placed down um, will have. Again, very useful for reaching certain areas. Along with, uh, for both demo and washout purposes, both 10-yard and a 20-yard dumpster that are to scale. And last but not least, we have the concrete mixer as well. 
So again, all of these are to scale based upon the most common measurements available. Uh, one thing to note about the pump truck radius, though, again, you would, should always consult, you know, whoever you are getting your pump truck from to make sure that radius is accurate as they do slightly vary uh, depending on, you know, the height and along with everything else. However, with that said, um, if you'd like to learn more about the Zentech review tools for concrete, you can contact us via phone at 866-824-4459. You can contact us via email at sales at zentechconsultants.net or visit our website at zentechconsultants.net or by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for joining me today.